Creative Cooking Cookers. This is Ani with Creative Cooking in Ani's Kitchen. Welcome, welcome cadets, juniors, and first timers. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to bring you my recipe for uh, baked chicken burritos. Very good. Okay, in a white cream sauce, so it is going to be a wet casserole type. This is the dish that I will be using. Okay. And currently I have, let's see, that's eight, nine, I have ten uh, tortillas. Um, I didn't have time to make my own. I do have a recipe, however, uh, on my channel, just look it up on how to make tortillas, flour tortillas. Very simple to make. Uh, but again, with Feast of Tabs coming up, we're having our gathering on the 3rd. I've got a lot of cooking to do. As you can see, I just I just got done snapping all these peas. I've got uh, the smoked turkey tails and uh, stuff like that. I'm, I'm doing two rolls. I'm doing a brisket. I'm doing a uh, baked chicken with cream potatoes and veggies and a nice cream sauce. Uh, just all kinds, potato salad, baked beans, baked mac and cheese, cornbread, dressing, uh, you name it. Not to mention a lemon cake, a uh, strawberry shortcake trifle, a blueberry cheesecake. My husband's making a cake for our grandson. Uh, I think half is going to be split half between a, a strawberry um, cream uh, shortcake and a banana cream cake or something. I don't know what he's going to do, but he's he's going to make a half and half birthday cake. I think it's two layers. It might be three uh, birthday cake. But anyway, the strawberry trifle shortcake that I'm making with shaved almonds. That's going to be the actual uh, birthday cake. Uh, and then I've, I'm going to make a strawberry shortcake uh, cupcake with the cream and to sit it on top of the trifle. And that way we can set a candle on top of that. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to put a candle because the trifle is mostly the top layer is cool with cream cheese. Anyway, so I've got a lot to cook, a lot to do, and uh, of course there'll be cookies and just chips and all kinds of, just all kinds of foods. And um, that takes a lot of work, so we've got to start early. But right now, I've got to make sure Hubster has dinner for tonight. And that's going to be the baked chicken burrito. And I thought I'd bring you all with me. And I will be bringing you all with me for each dish that I do for the Feast of Tabernacles. Um, or Sukkot. Okay. And we are going to... Let me go ahead and... See, I, I went ahead and uh, snapped these peas... Green beans, rather. And I haven't washed them or anything because I don't want them wet. If you wet them, they'll start getting all moldy and soggy and stuff. So I've got them. I haven't cleaned them. They're still in their coated, what protects them, their coated layer um, of ger germies. So I'm going to leave them like that until I'm ready for them. Refrigerate them just like that, nice and dry, until I'm ready to cook them. Okay, so I'm going to cover this and put them in the fridge until I'm ready to cook them. And I will be doing them in a crock pot with some smoked turkey tails, potatoes. I've got these cute little uh, chicken tails honey, honey go, bite sized potatoes to go with them. Isn't that cute? They're so adorable. So, and the brisket will be made with uh, red cabbage or 
Yeah, red cabbage and um, some carrots and potatoes and the roast beef, of course, carrots and potatoes. Um, and the chicken will be with a cream sauce. Like I said, it will be baked in a white cream sauce with sliced, nicely, thickly sliced uh, potatoes and veggies like you know, broccoli and cauliflower, carrots, things like that. So it's going to be very hearty and I'm making a huge pot of white rice and I'm also serving beans to go with the white rice and I'm serving baked beans because for the kids we have Nathan hot dogs and baked beans go with Nathan hot dogs. Now these are not uh, these are what's considered, uh, what is that, vegetarian. It doesn't have any pork or anything, these baked beans. It would be Dr. Pepper baked beans. But anyway, a big menu. And got a lot of cooking to do this week along with doctor appointments and dialysis and you name it. <laughs> I've got it going on next week, okay? A lot to do. But it's so much fun. I mean, I really do enjoy it. Right now, we're going to concentrate on this baked chicken burrito recipe. Let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you the ingredients, okay? Ah. Oh. Okay. We're going to need two cups of heavy whipping cream. If you don't have that, but you have half and half, that'll do. Or regular milk and evap milk, that'll do. Okay, um... I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of scallions or spring onions from my garden on over the dish once it's done. That's optional, you know. I am going to use some sofrito to stir fry my chicken and onions and garlic. Let me get my onion. Now, in this instance, I'm going to use, you could do fine chopped onions if you like, but for me, I'm going to use my julienne style, okay, my julienne, not sure what happened there, but I'm going to use my julienne style peppers, okay, it's red, green, uh, yellow, and I don't see any orange in there, oh yeah, it is one, and <laughs> And onions, it's a mixture. So I'm going to use this, okay? And, of course, like I said, the garlic, uh, the whipped cream, a little bit of sofrito. You're going to need to flavor. Uh, I'm going to use a little bit of cayenne pepper. Smoked paprika. Of course, onion and garlic powder, some cilantro, parsley to top to coat with, and let's see, it's a little bit of cumin, some basil, and I think, uh, let's see, huh, butter. You need half a stick of butter. So let me get my butter out. I'm using uh, sweet cream, unsalted, great value butter. Okay, so we only need half of this. So let me go ahead and slice that. I do have 
have block cheese that I can grate, but I'm saving them for the mac and cheese that I'm making. So I am going to use my bag cheese. It'll be a little grittier, but I'm going to make it work. You'll see. And what else did I say? What am I looking for? The vegetables. Um, I know I have a bag of oh, soup vegetables. It says vegetables for soup, and it's got already chopped up potatoes, peas, carrots, and corn. So I'll just use about a cup of this, or half a cup. It depends on what I'm in the mood for. You're going to need also some chili powder. I would recommend chili powder for this. Not a lot, just a little, a little bit of chili powder. It's just something I'm thinking. See taco seasoning. Maybe I should just use this. I'm gonna use the taco seasoning and just a little bit of chili powder. And of course you're gonna need some salt, not too much. I am gonna put a little bit of adobo. Puerto Rican touch. Alright, so this is what we are going to be working with. All of that right there. <laughs> it sounds like a lot, but it really isn't. I'm not get this. Okay, so here we go. The first thing we're going to do, though, however, that we have to do that's very important, is we have to toast our tortillas. So I'm going to put a little bit of oil on here. stove, kind of just oil the stove and do it on that. But, since I have this pan, I'm going to check it out. It might bend on me, I don't know, but it'll serve the purpose of searing this. You know, it gets hot pretty quick too. Alright, so we're going to sear or toast our tortillas. Why do we do that? Because it makes them flexible enough to fold and bend the way we want them without breaking. That's why it's important to do that. Okay, this is getting hot quick, so let's go ahead and deal with that. I'm also going to add some Parmesan and mayo. I may add a few things because I can't remember everything off the top of my head sometimes. So if you see me add something, just be prepared for that to happen. Okay? Woo! See? Nice and cooked. Once you do the initial greasing, you really don't need to grease it anymore.
That's a simple process. I'll be back as soon as it's done. Okay, guys. As you can see, I've got my flour tortillas all right here. So now we're going to move on with turning that off. <laughs> a little bit of oil. Just a little. I'll leave that right there. About two tablespoons of butter. The reason for the oil is so that the butter doesn't burn. The rest of this is going to go in with the milk. Okay. We're going to add a little bit of salt, about a teaspoon. Kosher salt. Okay. Melt down. Before we add our onions and peppers. If you don't want peppers, you don't have to put them in there. Or if you don't want onions. You don't have to put them in there. Put it where you like. Okay. Turn that heat on, that would help with it. Let's clean up this mess by me on the floor. Garlic. 
You could put some chopped jalapenos. I'm going to put a little bit of I'm going to put some a couple of uh, pepperoncini. Slice a couple of them up. <laughs> Only because for big chicken burrito, I mean, not chicken. I keep saying chicken. Can I say turkey? Is it too late to change it to turkey? I meant turkey. I don't know why I keep saying chicken. But when you make a baked burrito, kind of, kind of, don't you think? I think so. All right, leave it on high for a minute. I am going to just cut this. Rough, rough like. that up real quick and throw that in the pickle. That's my contribution for heat. <laughs> I know I'm a chicken. Speaking of which, this is turkey. Same turkey burrito. Which by the way is another good recipe for um, after Thanksgiving, turkey leftovers. Oh yeah. Make yourself some turkey, baked turkey burritos. Make this recipe. <laughs> and you twist on left over turkey, huh? So now we're going to put our taco. This is something new that I got at a store called Ollie's. And it's Sauce Supreme Taco Season. Now I'm going to try that. It was only 99 cents. And that's what it looks like. So, give that a little whirl. Got a tablespoon of that. And since I put that in there, I'm going to do just about a teaspoon of chili powder, like that, cayenne pepper, I got the Great Value brand, because this stuff, oh my god, it's outrageous, I am going to put some Spanish paprika in here too, some smoked and Spanish. Taking me forever to open these things up. Go ahead and lower the heat to six. Okay, so we added our vegetables: peas, corn, carrots, and uh, potatoes. We added our spices: tomato paste. And this is. Ready. I'm going to set that to the side, let that cool off. Now it's ready for our cream sauce. We're going to add the rest of our remaining butter, which is three tablespoons. Okay. Worst part about 
big dinners and all that, but she, you know, it's not having room in the fridge. And I've got three French refrigerators. I don't get it. <laughs> I swear I don't get it. Gotta melt our butter all the way down. Put that on the floor. We're gonna do two cups of heavy whipping cream. And I got one in here. butter, we're going to add the whipping cream, okay? After you brought your butter to a boil, then you're going to bring excuse me, your Maggie chicken stock, one bouillon. vegetable one that's fine too. And put that in there too. And that's gonna give your cream sauce its flavor. And I mean if you don't have any other stuff, you can use cream of chicken too. Not a problem. But I'm telling you, this heavy whipping cream is the way to go. And then you're going to want to wait. Those are all the spices from the Maggie. You're going to want to wait till that comes to a boil. You know, a low boil, not a real high, high boil. And while that's doing that, we can go ahead and start prepping our burritos. Sure, why not? I can multitask. If you're not a multitasker, then don't. But I think I can do it. I'm going to spray that. Four. And I 
horrible periodically. to make burritos. So, go ahead and stuff your burritos as thick as you want them. You're the boss. You can make this with chicken, by the way. This is turkey, but you can make this with chicken. meat for the way I'm making them. <laughs> Probably not. Okay. Over tortillas, which can be used for breakfast, so I'm not worried about it. Fold it like this, over, pull back, and roll. Very simple. Okay. 
This one will be mine. A little thin, skimpy one. <laughs> well, wrong way. All right. Then we have our burritos. See that? Here we go. See how quick that was? We've got two leftovers, so we're going to put them back in the bag and in the fridge. And the lobster can make a breakfast burrito. And they are already toasted, so he won't need to toast them. As you can see, so now we're going to add cheese to it. Okay. I'm going to start off with mild cheddar. Remember, mild cheddar always melts best. Let's lower the heat. This jar open. Nope. Need the assistance of a butter knife. There we go. Put about half a cup of Parmesan. That's grated Parmesan. Closer so you can see. And you stir it till this comes together, it gets real creamy.
I'll be back as soon as it dissolves. Okay, folks, is at this time you want to set your oven for 350. You don't need to add water to your pan on this one because this is going in wet. This is a wet dish, meaning it's going to have a sauce. Of his own. Okay. I'm such a messy cook, I'm telling you. This stove definitely takes a beating. <laughs> Officer gets in here once in a while and He'll scrub it down and polish it. I'm like, why are you polishing that for? <laughs> it's just going to get messy. I mean, I cook on this thing pretty much almost every day. Now, I do try to make big dishes, like two big dishes on Sundays for the week for him to have and alternate between lunch and dinner. That way I don't have to get in here all the time. But he's a big eater, and those things, that's why I have to make two. You know, he, he puts it away. He works hard, though. He works it off. You know, if anything, he has lost weight since I've met him. But he's still hardy. You know, he's a big uh, jumberlack, jump, what is it? Lumberjack. I said jumberlack. Do you hear me? Tongue twister. Uh, lumberjack type of guy. I mean, he walks in a room and he just like he takes all the air out of it. You know, he's that big <laughs> and burly. All right, so we just want to simmer this till it gets nice and thick. And then once it gets, because remember, it's going to get thick in the oven as well when it bakes. So we don't want too much of a thick. I got a lot of fruit too because I'm going to make a nice fruit salad. I'm going to have a regular salad, a nice big tossed salad. Anyway, a lot to do. And you all will take the journey with me. And I'll also film on the Feast of Tabernacle. I'll film that day. You see how this is dissolving nicely now? And it's starting to get thick. I still want it a little bit thicker than that. So let me put this up to a six. trick to the stove is you don't wipe it when it's hot. <laughs> but I grab it. <laughs> it bothers me. Alright. That's a little better anyway. Makes me feel better. Alright. So this is done. This is done, and wipe this stuff off. Put my burritos over here. This is just the pot that's in the way. My husband, when he washes dishes, that's what he does. He'll put all the big pans and pots on the stove because he doesn't know where I like them.
this is getting nice and thick now. And it's blended in there really well. Okay, so I'm going to turn that off. The oven is heating up. We're going to pour the sauce. over our burritos, our turkey burritos. Just like so. Oven baked mac and cheese. Oh, that's going to be something. I promise you that. And okay. And so I'm using the shredded one, which works too. It all works. It all bakes. It's just, I feel that since this has a spray of some kind of oil, the, uh, the block cheese freshly grated just melts better. Romano. I do set this on a bigger sheet pan just in case it overflows, bubbles over. So let me get that. is at 344, 345 now. So five more degrees. I'm going to go ahead and be a daredevil and stick it in just to that degree. It won't take it not but a blink of an eye for it to go to 350. So without it being covered, there it is. 30, 35 minutes, depending on your oven. I'll check it after 30. If it needs an additional five minutes, I shall bake it an additional five minutes. So until then, I'll see you in about 30 minutes. Okay, guys, as you can see, our time has ended. 30 minutes are up at 350. Let's see what we got, and we'll go from there. Oh, this looks really, really good. Oof. Okay. Ooh. 
Look at that. Look at right there. Turn this off. Look at that. Doesn't that look just absolutely delicious? Oh! Ooh, look at that creamy, thick white sauce. Look at that. Oh, yeah. So we're going to wait till that cools down. Okay, before we plate it. And it's not dinner time yet it's only 2 14 but i'll plate one just to show for show and tell so you all get the idea just how nice and gooey and delicious this is okay but here's what i can do and that is sprinkle my onions on top my scallions spring onions from the garden. I like them because they're so tiny. You know, instead of big old gobs. Okay, and whoops. Let's go ahead and da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Oh! Looking for the parsley, and I had it down here all the time. This whole time. Ooh, that look good. Oh, yeah. I tell you, parsley can really, I mean, dress up a plate. It really can. All right. So... I will be back and we shall have this beauty. It's already simmering down some, cooling off. That's going to be so nice and thick. And we'll cut into this and we'll plate it. I'm going to see how it pulls from the casserole dish. It has enough cheese in there where it should do that. So we shall see when we return. I'm going to give it about 30 minutes to cool off. Bring you back. Okay, 30 minutes up. I turned the uh, timer off. So we're going to go ahead and plate this beauty. All right, let's see. Make sure I can get cool down enough. See how this plates. Oh my goodness, look at all that cheese. Mmm. Oh yes. And we get the 
that nice creamy sauce. And we can just pour right over top. Look at that, huh? And put a nice a few nice leaves on here. Just dress it up with some cilantro. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. I take bicarb sodium bicarbonate, so I have to take it for my kidneys. Yeah, it makes me belch. All right, well, there you have it, folks. Look at that. Look at all of that cheese, that creamy goodness. Ah, oh, look at that. That is just divine, divine, divine. It's falling off the plate. It's what it is, sliding right off. <laughs> That's how creamy it is. Huh, oh, creamy goodness. Woo wee! How about a little bite? Let's go ahead and take a little bite. Not dinner time yet, but I can eat just a little bit. It's crispy, you know, the uh, tortilla is nice and crispy. Oh, yes. Plates full of rolling around everywhere. All oh, that cheese. All right, I'm going in. Hope I don't burn myself. Ooh. Mmm. This cream sauce, oh, nails it. I'm telling you. Mm, mm, mm. Guys, you have to make yourself some unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm going to go ahead and leave this one right here. I'm going to cover this up. Right till dinner time. It'll be even thicker then. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to uh, shower cap this because this is naturally my piece now for dinner. <laughs> ah, boy, is that good. Mm -hmm. For the sake of the video, I took a bite. And I am hooked. You all make yourself some. From my kitchen to yours. Thank you for joining Creative Cooking in Ani's Kitchen. Give me a thumbs up, why don't you please? Poke that subscribe button. And ding, ding. Turn on that notification bell. That way you can be notified every time I upload a new amazing and delicious recipe. Again, from my kitchen to yours, God bless you all. Please take care of yourselves and one another. Until the next one, bye.